We have a, a helicopter overhead right now. Our Sky Ranger is now in that area. You can see dozens of police cars. People look like they're um, walking through the street with their hands up. Can you see any of this happening right now? Um, one moment. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have asked not, you that not if you're not second. supposed to go well, through the windows. That's fine. I just took a quick peek and um, not at the exact <laughs> moment right now. <laughs> That's yep. good, but you all feel that you're in a safe area. Right. I mean, there. last I looked, there were about 30 or so um, first responder vehicles there um, surrounding kind of that, that corner yeah. and intersection around the building. So, there, the, again, the first responding officers from San Bruno PD were here within minutes, you know, and, two and to three minutes. I don't know how familiar you are with those buildings next to you, with the YouTube building, but it looks like our Sky Ranger is showing us probably the scene of the crime. It looks like an area, a lunch area with red umbrellas, and there appear to be uh, police officers possibly marking where the bullets may have landed. Um, it, it's mm -hmm. a building with a green roof. Would that be the YouTube building? <laughs> Uh, the YouTube building actually has a grass roof. Yeah, yeah, um, a grass roof. Interestingly, um, the area to which you are referring, I believe, it, well, it's shielded for the most part from our view. It's obstructed by the building itself. So I, I don't know anything about that area to which you mentioned. Yeah, it, it looks to us, at least from our, our Sky Ranger, our helicopter vantage point, that it would be a lunch or a, you know, a common area with red umbrellas, which would make sense. YouTube's logo is red and um, chairs strewn about and some law enforcement placing yellow markers around there. Um, of course, we don't have this confirmed, but that would appear that perhaps uh, shots were fired there. And you say you heard about 15 shots in 30 seconds? Yeah, yeah about that. I mean, it was a, a first burst of maybe 10 shots, uh, relatively short pause, and then about five more shots or so. That's what I recall. And, wow. And you're just um, going about uh, your regular day at 1245, and you <laughs> suddenly hear shots firing. Yes, ma'am. Did you all just look at each other? What happened in that moment? Um, in that moment, uh, there's a little bit of confusion. Um, a couple of individuals on our team uh, said, well, that sounds like gunshots. Um, and we could tell the sound where it was coming from. You know, the very first shot, you kind of think it's like a car going by. Right. It's backfiring, but they just kind of keep going. And it definitely has a different pitch than a, a car backfiring in, in the then we all rushed to the window. Wow. And within seconds, we saw people just fleeing out. And that's putting two and two together from our side. That's how I'm speculating. Yeah. And, and um, I, I, you know, I know you don't work at YouTube where this looks to have happened. You work at Walmart uh, headquarters nearby. But do you all have uh, metal detectors when you go in? Is there, are there forms of security where you have to swipe a badge to get in the building? Absolutely. We, we do. We have a, a pretty darn good security system here at our building. Not metal detectors, of course, but um, um, swipe a badge that we have to swipe our badge to access, and a pretty robust security force, at least for you know, to prevent unauthorized access. Something like this happening. Well, I, I'm surely glad to know that you are safe and you and your coworkers are on lockdown. Um, hopefully, you said you haven't heard shots fired in the last, what is that now, 40 minutes. So hopefully the, the situation is under control now. That, is that what you're thinking? BC affiliate I, in the I Bay can. Area I reporting can. there and talking to an uh, eyewitness of what appears to be a shooting at YouTube's headquarters in San Bruno, California. The eyewitness at a nearby building at Walmart's e-commerce operations there. What you're looking at is the helicopter shot of the area where it appears the shooting took place. We have very scanty information at this point, but it is an outdoor seating area.